Hey friends, welcome to another video. Today is a really long day for me, so I'm going to take you along with me. We're gonna be taking um, the kids to ISR Swim. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. It is freaking awesome, and every child should do it, in my opinion. It prevents drowning. Um, and then I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul, and I'm gonna head off to work. So I would love for you to stay tuned for this video. Um, it's a little bit longer than I normally do, but I'm excited for today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Eva. I love to do a little bit of everything, so follow along. And if you are returning, it is so good to see you. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. All right, you guys, I broke some rules and I did go to sleep last night with some wet hair. So it, it kind of, it's giving me this like curly-ish kind of vibe. That's okay, it is a rainy day today, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just enjoy that. I just put in a few extra curls just to give it some, doesn't look so dry, but I think it looks fine. So unfortunately, my daughter is up because my son wouldn't take a nap. If you can see, he does like this yoga thing in his room which blows my mind, but here's my daughter. She's awake, and that's because of my son banging on the walls, but let's go ahead and get her. Hi, my sweet girl. Hi. So while my son is still sleeping, I'm gonna get some special one-on-one -on -one time with my daughter. And something I've been working on with her is climbing the stairs. She has seriously mastered going up the stairs, so much so that even when I turn around for like three to five minutes, she's already up the stairs. So what I am working on with her is climbing down the stairs. So we're gonna be working on that today a little bit before my son is up. And uh, something to remember to do if you are training your babies to climb stairs, always stay below them on the stairs when you are training and that way um, you're there to catch them if they do need that. I've talked about this on my channel so far but I have a family calendar that is up on the wall I also have my personal calendar that's like a um, written planner form um, I don't trust my phone anymore I've lost things multiple times so I don't trust that anymore um, I would highly recommend a family planner if you have a family schedules get so busy I don't know about you guys but there is absolutely no way that I can keep track of anything in my life if I didn't have it up on like a planner. Plus, I think I have my husband on board finally after about six years. He actually really likes it now. He'll be, he'll be looking at the planner if ever he's curious what's happening like that week or so. But what I like to do for it is color code it. So like green will be church activities, um, blue would be swim stuff, and black is just general and red would be work. If you guys have kids, you know how long it takes to prepare to get out of the house. Um, something for swim that I do every Monday through Friday is pack a quick diaper backpack. So diapers, wipes, snacks. Um, I pack a quick lunch, usually always, um, and bottles just in case um, we break down on the side of the road or we can't get home in time. Anything like that, just in case of emergency. Plus, you never know if the children are going to get really fussy. Honestly, crazy story. I thought I had a flat tire on the way home today. Um, I honestly had just ran over a box. But what I'm saying is, you never know. by yourself what a mess you made what happened all right buddy we're gonna go to swim okay good job all right let's go
Today is Friday, and so I have been going to Snit Swim Monday through Friday this week. My husband has been working, and you guys, I am so incredibly tired. <laughs> Honestly, I picked up a shift today for work because um, I told my husband I just needed a little bit of a break, needed to get out of the house. Um, so I'll be heading into work after he gets home. But check out this rainy day. Las Vegas does not get a lot of rainy days, so this was super, super awesome. Are you guys ready for swim? It's a rainy day. If there are any of you um, moms that are 2B, um, I recommend this side-by-side -side stroller if you're planning more than one child. I do have the Nuna, um, the double one, but I just find it really weird that my children are sitting on top of each other and um, like they can't see each other, they can't interact, and I just thought that was really weird it's funny because you buy like one of the nicest strollers when you are a new mom and then you just never use it so it's totally weird and whereas this one was so much cheaper it's on amazon and i use it all of the time and i don't feel bad about getting it like completely scratched up so that is really cool i would be up waiting for you if you had to leave i would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just want to say that I feel that my love is real Maybe we should hurry up and see all the deal let's talk about ISR so I really recommend this for all babies there are so many babies that drown in pools for no reason at all and it could have totally been prevented by lessons like these so ISR is fantastic they teach children if they fall in the pool or happen to find their way in the pool as you can see my daughter loves the pool she's drawn to it it's kind of crazy how unsafe that is and we have one in the backyard so that's terrifying so um 
We decided to put them in ISR. Yes, they're not necessarily the most inexpensive things. They are, sometimes they can get a little bit of, ex become a little bit of an expense. But um, my daughter, my son is doing great. You'll see in a little bit, um, a little bit later in this video. Um, but my daughter, this is her first week. So as you can see, her arms are tucked in close to her chest. You can tell she's trying to like protect herself. It's fearful for her, it's scary. The pros outweigh the cons on this. Um, as you can see, this is our instructor, Gail. She is fantastic. If you are in Henderson, Nevada, go to her. She is awesome. Um, but as you can see, my daughter, she's starting to calm down a little bit. So she starts to kind of bring her arms out to the sides. And that's what we want. We want her completely calm when she's on her back. We want her not to be flailing her arms and legs and just to feel content in that space. And that way it'll give an adult a little bit of time to come get the child um, if they do happen to find themselves in the pool. So look how great this is. This is awesome. Week one, so that's fantastic. Not only that, but they work on breath control so that way her head can go underwater and she can still do fine. How do you float? Yeah, and swim? How do you swim? So because a baby would swallow quite a bit of water when they first start, um, we lay them on their tummy or on their left side and have them burp up anything they may have swallowed or just get any air that could be out. And honestly, they calm down right after, so <laughs> it's almost like in the moment that they are terrified, but afterwards, they're fine. So now it is my son's turn. Um, let's see how he does. As you can see, he's really excited to jump in. He's having a great time. So just a reminder here, my son is, um, he has just turned two about a month ago. So he looks a lot larger than he really is. He's very young. Um, so this is rather impressive, especially for me as his mom. I am so incredibly happy because now I know that there is a less likelihood of him um, passing away from drowning or having any kind of crazy incidents like that. So as you can see, his floats are calmer. Trust me, this took a little bit to get, but it was amazing and there is a sequence that they want to hit so if he gets into the pool we want to make sure that he's calm he gets onto his back he's able to maintain that calmly take a deep breath kind of figure out where he is what's happening around him and then he is to flip over onto his belly and swim to an edge if it's too far i mean sorry too far then he would um flip back over onto his back and do that again. So this is the safest way to go. And um, ISR instructors um, do not recommend flotation devices, especially for a child where you're trying to teach them how to float. Of course, if it's in a lake or um, anywhere else, or if a child doesn't know how to swim at all, and it is more of a safety precaution than by all means. But now that my son can do this, we will not be using any kind of life vest for him or my daughter. Um, for that, they end up um, learning that something will save them, like a device, and they actually end up floating upright, and they drown a lot faster that way. So we are not believers in those. We strongly believe in ISR, though. So if you can get your child an ISR, then at the end of the day, you won't need any kind of flotation device. As you can see here, sometimes it's not perfect. He still is more vertical in the water and not making it up all the way to the top to float. So she's trying to show him here that he needs to float and then flip over. So working on those body mechanics um, is super, super important. But look how much fun he's having, you guys. This is amazing.
There you saw it. That is what a typical ISR session is like. Also, excuse the <laughs> frizz. It is rainy outside and inside the pool area. I'm telling you, it is warm. Like, really, really warm. Um, but we survived. If you have any questions about it, let me know. The kids are now happy. All right, you guys. My husband's flight is delayed. He's supposed to be home by, like, noon. But he is delayed because Vegas had um, a ground stop on all flights and apparently Mom. the rain scares everyone living here so I don't know part of me wants to move to the south anyways let's get home get on with the day give the kids some lunch put them down for nap time hopefully at about noon I am contacting a few um, babysitters slash nannies to help because if my husband's flight isn't here on time I still need to make it to work so I would love to move to Nashville if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations or if you live in Nashville please tell me how do you love it um, okay this is carrying on really long but anyways all right you guys let's get started with the day I can tell my daughter's getting a little fussy are you getting fussy yeah all right guys let's get home You guys, while my husband was stuck um, in Houston waiting for his flight to depart and for Vegas to open their runways, he ordered groceries to be delivered at the house. This is our first time doing this and you guys, what an incredible experience. Like, I am so happy I did not have to take my kids to the grocery store. It was delivered, dropped off at our door. Everything was completed on the app. And then I just put everything away. And this is still just after about noon time. So the day is not over yet. And I feel like I've already accomplished so much. So my goal is before I head off to work and my husband gets home, put away all of the groceries, finish all of the laundry. I have been doing laundry every day because I need the ISR stuff. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll fold the laundry and fix that up and then I need to change for work and head out as soon as my husband gets home. husband ordered um, groceries to be delivered which is our first time ever and I'm so excited like literally I didn't have to go to the grocery store so I need to put this away real quick but I wanted to go over kind of what we got so my husband got all kinds of like beans and stuff because he wants to make a chili um, y'all my new snack is Nutella with these rice cakes freaking amazing I'm not a chocolate fan but that's just incredible chips and salsa always quesadilla stuff always lasagnas for when we're in a pinch and really need to get something into the oven for dinner probably like tonight <laughs> um let's see what else we got here more beans tomato sauce um what's this oh rice is cool um chili mix and stuff there's some chicken nuggets when we're in a pinch as well for the kids um looks like this is some ground beef grass-fed um some turkey cheese for sandwiches uh, mushrooms i'm sure is for the chili and onion probably for the chili and then my husband's been saying he loves these so i've never tried that but we'll try it um and then blueberries for my daughter um so yeah we go through a lot of milk and i go through <laughs> a little bit of creamer i do like black coffee but creamer is a must and then my husband loves 
these water loops. They're upside down, but you get the hint. He absolutely loves those. And what is this? Um, let's see. It is like a muscle milk. All right, oh. you guys, I'm gonna put that away real quick. Uh, fold the laundry. My husband should be home within the hour. I need to be clocked in at work. So I'm hoping my daughter goes back to sleep and I can do this really, really good. to work I, I meant to go in at about noon time but because of the delay I'm making it at about 2 p.m. so let's get this shift done I plan to be off of work at about 8 p.m. and then go home I've never really worked this late of a shift before I like to come in in the morning but that is okay we got a lot done today we were flexible my husband made it home safely we have so many things to be thankful for my kids are happy and healthy and that is the best of it all right you guys thank you so much for um, following along with this video i really appreciate the support and i hope to see you in my next one bye